In this video, we are going to discuss about the expansion valve. Expansion valve is an important component in an AC system. There are three types of expansion valve. Thermal expansion valve. The electronic expansion valve. And fixed orifice expansion valve. We are going to explain about the thermal expansion valve, which is the most commonly used expansion valve. It does two important jobs. One is, it expands the refrigerant and reduces its pressure and temperature. Another one is, sends the required amount of refrigerant to the evaporator. How can the temperature of a refrigerant be reduced by expanding it? Let's do a little experiment. When we blow air, like in this first picture, we can feel some hot air coming. As in the second picture, when we blow air, we can feel some cold air coming. When we compress and release hot air, the temperature of the air will drop. Similarly, when we compress and release the refrigerant, the temperature of the refrigerant decreases. When four people enter a room, where AC is running, the temperature of that room increases. At that time, the expansion valve sends more refrigerant to the evaporator and cools the room. After everyone has left that room, the expansion valve will reduce the amount of refrigerant going to the evaporator as the room does not need more cooling. First, let's know its parts. This is thermal expansion valve. This is the inlet through which the refrigerant enters. It is the outlet through which the refrigerant goes out. This is the main body inside which there is a spring. Refrigerant flow control is done through this spring. This normally keeps the refrigerant passage closed. This is an adjusting valve through which we can adjust the spring manually. It is a thermal bulb that has a refrigerant inside. It is a small tube of about 1 mm diameter. It has a diaphragm inside. Diaphragm means, it is in a round disc shape. Now let's see how it works. The thermal bulb is connected to the outlet of the evaporator, like this. There is a refrigerant inside this thermal bulb. The refrigerant used in the thermal bulb is the same refrigerant used in the AC unit. For example, if R410A refrigerant is used in the AC unit, the same refrigerant is used in the thermal bulb. The refrigerant that enters the evaporator is heated and converted into vapor and exits. A thermal bulb is attached to the evaporator outlet. When the outlet heats up, heat is transferred to the thermal bulb. At that time, the refrigerant inside the thermal bulb will begin to boil and turn into vapor. All this vapor comes through this small tube to the diaphragm in the expansion valve and pushes the diaphragm down under high pressure. This diaphragm is connected to a spring inside the expansion valve. When the diaphragm is pressed down, this spring is also compressed. Now, the refrigerant path increases and more refrigerant goes to the evaporator. Hence, the evaporator coil also cools down quickly. After the evaporator coil cools down, its outlet path also starts cooling down. So, the refrigerant inside the thermal bulb will stop boiling and the pressure will be released in the diaphragm. Now, the diaphragm will come up due to spring force, and the way of refrigerant will be closed. 
This is how the thermal expansion valve sends the required refrigerant to the evaporator. The path that the refrigerant can travel through is very small. It compresses and releases the refrigerant that can travel through it. Therefore, as we have already mentioned above, the pressure and temperature of the refrigerant decreases and the cooled refrigerant goes to the evaporator. And one more point is that when this passage for refrigerant is closed, it does not close completely. There is a small gap through which the small amount of refrigerant continues to flow. Only when the temperature of the evaporator increases, this gap increases and more refrigerant goes to the evaporator. If you find it difficult to understand, please ask your doubts in the comments and get clarification. If you find it useful, please like and share the video. Subscribe to our Zebra Learnings English channel. Thank you.